Hi, and welcome to another plumberparts.co.uk video. Today, I'm going to give you a quick bit of advice about how to get your radiator working if only one's working. Now, I've seen a few other videos on the internet about how to do this, and some of them are plain wrong, and some of them could actually cause leaks in your house if you do it wrong. Here's the radiator in question. All the other rads in the house are burning hot, the boiler's on, the pump's running, and the thermostat in the room's calling for heat. But this one radiator here isn't getting hot. If we fill these pipes here, there's no heat coming down here at all. And as I said, yeah, all the other radiators are hot in the house. So the first thing we do is check that the lock shield is open. All you need to do is remove the lock shield cap. You'll find the, the lock shield valve bit here. Get a set of adjustables on there. And open that fully up. Turn that all the way you can anti-clockwise. Okay, keep going and keep going. Now you never know now, you might f find that you've got heat coming into the radiator. To get the earliest affirmative answer as to whether there's heat going into the radiator, instead of feeling the radiator itself at the bottom or the top, feel the two pipes going to it. One will be a flow pipe and one will be a return pipe, and if now you've, unlocked, you've opened up your lock shield and you feel one of these two pipes getting warm, then you know you're getting flow. However, that might not have solved your problem. You could still have air in the radiators, the symptoms of air in your radiators are quite simple to describe. If you already have a hot flow and return going to the radiator, if you felt down the radiator it should be warm at the bottom and at the top it will be cold. This is always a sign of air being in the rads. But before you go mental trying to bleed all the air out of the radiators, I strongly recommend you turn the boiler and the pump off. Anyway, here's how you bleed a rad. Right, so here's how to bleed a radiator. Your boiler and your pump are turned off, both radiator valves are open, even though we haven't looked at the TRV yet, so that could be stuck shut. We'll look at that in a minute. Just get a little, little bit of cloth. Get your radiator key in there. Open that. Fortunately, you can see we've got water there already. Just let that run for a few seconds. That's great. Now, usually, when there's air in there, obviously you have a lot of air coming out before you get to water. Obviously, if the radiator does have air in the top of it, you will get air coming out. You'll be able to hear it really easily, it'll just be a nice slight hiss, and you could control easily the rate at which it comes out using this key. Okay, as soon as you get a bit of water come out, just tighten it up, wipe up any excess water that might have spilt on the floor or something like that, and then you should feel the radiator at the top getting nice and hot. The next problem you could have is the fact that your TRV, or the control head for the radiator, is stuck shut. Now this is where I've seen a few of the other videos on the internet telling you how to do this sort of thing have gone wrong. Now let's just go over it very slowly and if you follow our instructions you should be able to get it working just fine again. If not we'll give you a quick guide on how to change the TRV. Right so here's the thermostatic radiator valve in question. First thing you need to do is make sure it's fully turned on. Okay so at the moment it's on setting number five out of five. Next you have to be able to remove the TRV head. Now there are a few different ways to do this. This one here is just a screw on collar. Some of the other ones, like by manufacturers like Danfoss, have a black plastic lug that you have to you have to pop a, a screwdriver in and just pop that out, and then you just quarter turn twist it and it'll lift off. Okay, but this one's a, a collar screw one. So you pop that there, and that means there we can reveal the head here. Now this one I know works, okay, and the way you can figure that one out is is you just you can push this pin down like that. Okay, some of them the pin will be stuck down. Now. On this particular type, the best way to do this is to, is to when it, while it's stuck down, just press on it a little bit and see if that will bring it up. The, the best way to be with these is to be gentle. Don't hit them with a hammer, okay? Now this particular model should, won't have that problem, but if you've got a traditional pin type TRV, if you hit it with a hammer, often the pin will just fly out and you'll have a lovely fountain of water just come out. The best way to deal with the pin types is to get a very small set of long nose pliers, and you kind of, what you, what you do, okay, this isn't a set of long nose tires, but you grip, you grip the pin itself, and you just wiggle it upwards, and just pull it out yourself, and pull it up, and that will get it working with any luck. Sometimes you'll find, once, you, once you've got it free, you can, you, you can push back down the pin, and it will stay stuck down. At that point, you're probably going to be looking at getting a new TRV for that particular radiator. 
This particular type here, fortunately, because we don't have that problem with it, with it being a traditional type pen, the best way I find to deal with these would be to get a largish, if it's stuck down, get a large bit like that and then just slightly tap it, just to shock it. That's all you need to do. You're not trying to bash the hell out of this so it moves. All you need to do is shock the, the, the tension out of what's holding it in place. Okay, and then it should pop up. And then if, you're, if you, you've bled the radiator of air, you've undone the TRV and the lock shield, you've got a great flow, you should then have a hot radiator. I hope you found that video helpful in telling you how to get your one radiator from working again. If you find that you've got two or three radiators on a long run that aren't working, the potential problem for the system could be that it is not balanced. We are going to do a video for uh, balancing radiators and uh, if you check our channel or if you check our related videos you should find it there. If you have any more problems you can contact us or visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice.